Mastering informal vocabulary and personal letters. Hello everyone. Welcome to our exciting English language learning journey. Today, we're going to focus on a very interesting topic. Informal vocabulary and personal letters. We'll explore how to sound authentic and natural when writing letters to friends, family, or any informal settings. We'll be diving deep into the nuances of word choice and expressions, which can drastically change the tone of your writing. Informal vocabulary is a crucial component of personal letters. It helps to convey your personality, shows your relationship with the recipient, and creates an atmosphere of friendliness and familiarity. While formal vocabulary is characterized by longer, more complex words and strict grammar, informal vocabulary uses simpler, everyday words and more relaxed grammar rules. This doesn't mean that we throw grammar out of the window, but that we're more flexible with it. Let's have a look at some examples. Instead of using formal phrases like, I am writing to inform you, an informal version could be, just wanted to let you know, or, I thought I'd tell you. The word, you, can be replaced with, you guys, you all, or y'all, in certain dialects and contexts. Formal phrases like, in conclusion, can be informally written as, to sum up, in a nutshell, or even, long story short. Now, let's use these in context. Imagine you're writing a letter to a close friend. Instead of starting with, Dear Sir, Madam, you might write, Hey there, or, Hi, friend's name. You can use colloquial expressions such as, Guess what? You won't believe what happened, or, Hang on, it gets even better, to make your writing more conversational and engaging. Remember, the goal of using informal vocabulary and personal letters is to sound natural, authentic, and friendly. Don't be afraid to use contractions like, I'm, don't, won't, and even slang, if it's appropriate and understandable to the recipient. Keep your sentences short and to the point, and feel free to play around with punctuation to convey your tone and emotion. There we go, we've covered the basics of using informal vocabulary in personal letters. Practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to start writing informal letters to your friends, experimenting with new expressions, and paying attention to the informal language in the letters you receive. I hope this video has been helpful. Keep practicing and you'll be a master of informal vocabulary in no time. Until next time, Happy writing!